Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Taos SEL 4 Motion. This particular one is King's Red Metallic on the exterior with French roast and black leather interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, an LED light bar that goes into the logo, right up to the logo right here, from here all the way across. It also has keyless entry on two doors. 19 inch alloy wheels and it also has the Taos emblem right here on the side chrome window sills and chrome roof rails LED tail lights reverse lights and turn signals on the rear faux exhaust tips under the reflectors there our bumper jello and it says Taos right at the base right there let's take a look inside and before we step in here here's a look at the door panel right here the door inset has that French roast or brownish color right there, kind of a tannish brown. Uh, and then you also have black leatherette on the arm pad here. And then all of your buttons and switches are all black here. Power mirrors, heated mirrors, one touch up, one touch down on the windows with the window lock here. And a fuel filler door button right here. As we look at the seats here, you can see that French roast there in sections here and black in the rest of the leather seat. Here's a look through. To the back it's a true five seater you have a light colored headliner here and a uh, sunshade the arm pad right here armrest is also in black contrast stitch right up the side here on both sides of the bolster and then up right here as well up into the back of the shoulders here and also up in the headrest the manual adjust headrest there let's climb inside here and what you notice when you get in here, the French roast and the door panel over here with this premium stitch up here as well, continues across the dash. That contrast stitch or premium stitching right there goes across into the door panel on the other side. You do have a uh, dark gray colored uh, kind of metallic fleck. You can kind of see some of the metallic flake or fleck in the uh, paint here. The vents here and over here are surrounded by that, gray, that metallic gray. And then the other vents drop down below the radio right here. Over here in the door panel, and more of that metallic gray right here around the door, the door handle and the door lock here. Nice flat dash across the front here with this little storage bin right here. It's a leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel on this one with a heated steering wheel. So there's your heated uh, uh, steering wheel icon right there. Flat silver finish on the volume buttons and a song skip and preset set up right here. This. Uh, Volkswagen logo in the middle. That's the old school Volkswagen logo. All right, so here's a look at the digital cockpit right here. Uh, the, the Volkswagen digital cockpit pro. So you've got this, the uh, dial screen, the wide screen, and the crop screen there. You can also bring up navigation here. So I can go over to the radio here, bring up nav, touch right here, bring up the menu, and check this box. And that's going to bring my navigation over to here. Now you can see the crop screen here. You also have dynamic sign display here and a compass up at the top. And it looks like we got our time set in a 24 hour time here and then the outside temperature there. It's a warm day today. Uh, supposed to hit 60 today, but uh, we're supposed to get snow again uh, by the middle of the week or towards the end of the week here. There's your widescreen. There's your crop screen. And of course, there's your dial screen. I personally like the widescreen the best. Uh, your gear is set down here temperature gauge off to this side over here fuel gauge over here Speedometer right here, and then here's your adaptive cruise control your uh, following distance and of course your buckle seat belt and um, Your the green shoot it tells you you won't kill anyone as long as you're in park or neutral <laughs> That's kind of a going joke there. It's it's just it only the green shoe only shows up when um, you're in park or neutral um, here's a look at your AM FM radio with satellite um, you do have uh, gesture control on this guy too so I can put my hand in front of that there and wave my hand in front there and get it to change just like that now you do also have app connect which allows you to do Android Auto Apple CarPlay or mirror link wirelessly uh, through this uh, radio here um, so your phone could be in your pocket or in your purse and you're still running Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on the screen up here. 
Down here, you do have two, uh, two USB-C connections right here that are both backlit. So if you want to hook up old school, you can do that. You do also have a 12 volt charger port right here as well. And then a wireless charge pad down here. You can set your phone in the case down here on this guy. Uh, the backup camera on the car is pretty awesome as well. It's a full HD camera with trajectory steering. I can turn the wheel left or right and it's going to move that yellow line accordingly and um, the green line signifies straight back and the red line signifies your, where your bumper is and you can see the bumper dillo right there. You do also have park distance sensors at the uh, rear of the car, I'm sorry, the front of the car. Uh, I'll have to double check that. They're, the park distance sensors are either front or rear, but they're not both. Um, I think they're actually rear. Um, and now I'm kind of stammering here, but uh, I'll figure that out. When I get out of the car, I'll be able to tell you. Also, your glove box right here. There's your manuals right there. Your road and uh, sorry, your tire warranties are right here. Your limited tire warranties are going to be in this uh, Ziploc bag right here with the manuals. I do like the fact that you have the vents right here. Um, you do also have heated seats and ventilated seats as well. So you've got both going on here. So if you don't need uh, both on, you can do them both together or you can do them independent of each other. Uh, but the ventilated seats is kind of nice. You also have a dual zone climate zone here. Uh, right now the sink is on. I can turn that off and I can have different temperatures on each side. This is my fan speed right here. And this is my temperature setting here. So I can have heat on one side and air conditioning on the other. Uh, there's my max defrost, my rear defrost right here. Uh, and then also the auto button, whatever I have this set to uh, temperature wise is what it's going to run. Just kind of like your Nest thermostat at home. You do also have this menu button here. I can bring this up on the screen right here uh, and I can actually adjust my temperature accordingly that way. Now I do also have um, on this seat here, heated and ventilate set up here, but this seat is manual. There's a lever right there to lift up and slide that seat forward and back. Over here on this side, I can raise and lower the seat using this handle here. And then back here, this adjusts the seat back adjustment or uh, pitch there. Lots of storage for bottles or cups. You do also have cup holders right here, just like you do in Tiguan and Jetta. And this little storage bin right here as well. And you also have this storage bin here underneath the armrest. Here's a look at the key fob for this Taos. It's your standard Volkswagen key fob now with the panic alarm on the side, the VW logo on the back. Um, and then it also has uh, your lock right here, unlock down here and remote start. And then also your trunk unlock right here. Now on the Taos, this is not a power lift gate. So all that button is going to do is unlock your Taos. It doesn't open the hatch for you. Up above up here, we do have an uh, auto dimming mirror with a digital compass here. And this is the home link mirror with the home link connect subscription for four years. Um, you can tell because it has the four buttons here. You can tell because it has the four buttons up here, three of them for garage door memory and one for Bluetooth right here. You do also have uh, this light headliner up here as well. And then here's a look at that power sunshade. It goes back. It covers all of the passenger seats here and you have this pane of glass hidden right there. So opening the sunroof, this pane of glass stacks on top of that one. And then you have a pop-up windscreen right here at the top. Very, very nice. There's a look at your adjustable headrest there and your adjustable seat belt right there. Okay, let's take a look at the back seat. And before we hop in, I'll show you right here, $37,265 is the price on this one. The extras are going to be $3.95 for the King's Red meta uh, Metallic Paint. And then also uh, for the Power Sliding Sunroof, another $1,200. $880 for the MDO package, which includes monster mats, a trunk liner with cargo blocks, privacy cover for the cargo area, the auto dimming home link mirror, and also uh, the four-year subscription to Carnet, uh, a home link connection, I should say. Um, now also... This one has a bumper dillo for 160 and 90 bucks for uh, the roadside assistance kit, bringing you to that 37,625. Here's a look at the back seats. Again, French roast in spots here in the side of the bolster here in the seat. The bulk of the seat is gonna be black leather. This seat is also heated. Nope, I scratched that, I am wrong. That is not true. Uh, only the front two seats are heated. <laughs> I almost, 
I almost made a boo-boo there. Uh, now, most of the cars with leather seats uh, have back row heated seats here, and I kind of just kind of went with that, and that's not true. Uh, these seats are not heated, but they are leather seats in the back as well. Here's your car seat hookups here and here. Fold-down armrest right here. This is made of leatherette in the, fit, in the middle right here. It's squishy yet firm, and there is a pass-through to the back right here as well. Adjustable headrests on all three seats here. You do have vents for your rear passengers right here, a little storage cubby right here, and a, a uh, USB-C connection here. So that gives you a total of three USB-C connections in the car. There's a look from the back to the front. Your center uh, console right there and instrument cluster there. Armrest and shifter right there. Uh, and then there's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. Okay, you do have also on this shifter, I didn't mention the shifter. It's a backlit shifter here. It's kind of hard to see there, but it, the P is lit up. Uh, you have a backlit shifter there, so it shows up on top. So at night, you can see that. Uh, also, your auto start stop shut off button is right here, along with the e, the uh, um, electronic parking brake. I'm going to go ahead and close the sunroof here so we have a little less glare here. The all-wheel drive function here, this little knob right here, turn it to snow when you have inclement weather, snow or something like that. You can do the driving mode for snow and then turning it back to the roadway gives you eco, normal, sport, and custom right here. And then you also have off-road and then off-road custom. And off-road custom will allow you to tweak. Man, I need to close the sunshade too because the sun is shining right on that. These aspects right here. So you've got uh, your steering, drivetrain, adaptive cruise control, light assist, climate control, all of those good things there. So I can change this back to the roadway here. And now I have my Eco Normal Sport and Custom again. And then I can just push the button here if I don't want to do fingerprints all over that screen and just change it that way. Very nice. Now back here for leg room, I do have a lot of leg room. I was just sitting in that seat up there and I still have about four inches of knee space here. Here's a magazine pocket right here. The seat is also sculpted to help with knee space. Same with this side over here. Uh, and there's a look at your adjustable headrests again. You just push in right here and raise or lower that guy. Same with this one on this side. And here's a look up at that power sunshade with it closed. Carnet is free for five years. These buttons right here, there's your emergency, or I'm sorry, information, roadside assistance and emergency services buttons right there. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. There's a look at your alloy wheels, very nice. These come standard on the SEL, and then there's a look at that bumper dillo, and it says Taos right here. Just remember, tacos without the C. Every Tuesday is Taos Tuesday. Not Taco Tuesday, Taos Tuesday. Just remember that. Here's a look at the privacy cover. It does go up when the door is up, you, or the hatch is up. You can just remove it here and here, and this guy lifts right out. It lifts right off of these two little spots here. Here's a look at your monster mats here, roadside assistance kit, cargo blocks, and a cargo protection system and then the floor right here. Spare tire right there with the removable uh, subwoofer there. You do have Beats Audio for this, I did not mention that. And you also have ambient light, col or ambient color display inside. It's a 15 color light display. There's a look at the 12 volt charger port right there in the back. Trunk light over here and a bag hook right here. Manual lift gate, so you just lift, lift up on that and also pull down on that to close. Don't think I closed that all the way. There's a look at the new Volkswagen logo and the Taos nameplate at the base there. Now this does come with that 15 color ambient light display as well. I didn't show you that. Actually, I'll show you that real quick. And it also has Beats Audio, as I said before. So let's take a look at the car here. Settings. Ambient light. Change it from automatic to manual. And here's those colors. And it's 10 colors, not 15, guys. I don't know where I get 15 from, uh, but it's 10. Uh, there's your uh, different colors there. So red, white, orange, yellow, blue, teal, purple, pink. You got different colors there. And it changes the colors here and also on the door panels and across. So very nice. All right. I did want to show you that. All right. Again, this car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change will be covered. 
Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a third year free maintenance as well, free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this, give me a call. Also, if you fly in and drive out, I'm still going to give you that 10-year, 200,000-mile engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. That comes on every new Volkswagen from my dealership. 10 years, 200,000 miles, nationwide, engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.